Hi everybody. This video is talking you guys through how to use Canvas um, for this course specifically. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of things just from the student view. Um, now, uh, unfortunately this course is not live so I can't actually show you everything from the student view uh, specifically. So I'm gonna switch back to the other view. But basically from the student view, you'll be able to see everything in a module that kind of looks like this every week. Um, and uh, on the left, you'll see your, your navigation. Um, and every week you'll see basically a list of things kind of top to bottom, and that's how you'll work through the course. So if I kind of go through it, I just want to explain high level how to use Canvas um, in general. So Canvas does have an email functionality, which is really important. So you can always go into the email functionality and utilize that um, in addition to the other emails that uh, that TCC has. Um, but within each module, you'll see it's a mixture of different types of content. So there's pages, there's um, discussion boards, there's blogs, there's quizzes, there's assignments. Um, and each one is differentiated kind of by a unique marker, which is a little icon next to it. Uh, so a page looks something like this. It's just a, it's just a piece of paper as you can see Versus say a writing assignment, which if I go down you can see a writing assignment has a little um, pen or pencil and a piece of paper next to it um, So this is just a piece of information. The other one is something that you would write or turn in and then uh, you'll see that the um, discussion boards are a little uh, discussion bubbles like this those are basically open to everyone in the course so everybody can see your responses they can reply on threads if they so choose um, in general in my course I don't require you to respond to someone just as part of your grade uh, you are welcome to just remember that everything you do is of course in writing so it's important for you to kind of have that that etiquette and that um, <laughs> premium just awareness that whatever you're writing is obviously permanent. So just be respectful of everyone in the course. Um, and then a uh, another type of assignment you might see, which is a, more of a writing assignment, is something like this, which is a blog. So a blog is going to be something that's personal to you. Uh, no one else in the course can see it, only I can see it. And this is where you may be like thinking through a, thinking through a concept or thinking through something around a certain text. Um, and a blog is, um, of course, it's a writing assignment, so uh, it's something that is checked for plagiarism as well. And then the other kinds of uh, icon you might see in this course is a is a little oops is a little um, rocket icon, which is a quiz. So a quiz is pretty simple. My quizzes in general are not over about ten questions, um, but you can again, this is not the student view. But um, when you come in, you'll see like a let me see if I can. I'm not sure if it'll show you. No, it's not because it's locked right now. But um, when you come in, you'll basically see like a little begin button. It'll have the instructions um, and it'll just say take this quiz. And when you take a quiz in my course, you have as much time as you need. You just have to take it in one attempt, meaning you can't save it and return to it later. Uh, so again, very simple. They're usually not over um, about 10 questions. So in the course, within a weekly module, you'll kind of see a similar pattern. So anything that's an instruction is all caps and anything and left aligned. Anything that is, say, a page or an assignment um, is going to be hyperlinked and have a little icon next to it. So you will work top to bottom throughout the week, and you'll just follow the instructions as you go. Um, and in general, in my course, everything is due on a weekly basis at 11.59 p.m. Um, on Sunday of that week. So you have the freedom th throughout the week to kind of work ahead. I mean, I'm sorry, to work uh, at a pace that best suits your schedule. Um, and then you actually have access to other units in the course, other uh, weekly modules in the course as well um, in, in, in general, which kind of helps, uh, helps you allow you to work ahead if you so choose. Um, and that may be limited in, in different courses in different ways, but um, in general, you will have access to multiple weeks at a time. Um, so you'll see that each week there will be a quick overview. So let me go down here. You can kind of see, for example, an overview. And it just outlines what you're doing that week. So it may have, you know, here's this section, here's the assignments, here's uh, the reading selection that you have to do. Um, None of this is clickable. These are not links. This is just a list and it includes the objectives and the goals. Everything highlighted in yellow would be an assignment that's graded. Um, if you see something highlighted in blue, 
uh, that would actually be, let me go back, that would be like a writing assignment. So um, you can see something maybe over here. Oh, I apologize. Um, I didn't have it highlighted, but in general, if it's right, if it's highlighted in blue, it's a, it's a reading assignment. Um, so that is pretty simple. Oh, I apologize. Um, if you keep moving down the page, you'll see things that have, um, uh, like I said, just pages are things that may have information. So if you click in with an, an author, you'll always see a biography first before I give you the um, reading assignment itself. Here it is in blue. Um, and then the associated lecture with that. Now, um, I do explain this in the syllabus video, but uh, in the syllabus videos generally, but um, you may see uh, different editions with different page numbers. That's just because uh, there are older editions that the lectures were, were based off of. Um, and that was, you know, what was given to me as a teacher. Um, and then the new edition came out a couple years ago, so I, I updated with the page numbers um, for both. You can use either or, um, but that information will always be there for you. And then you'll see typically within each sort of uh, by author's uh, section, you will have a biography, you'll have the reading assignment and the lecture, and you'll have some kind of graded assignment with it. So in this case, it's a quiz. Um, in another case, it may be something like a discussion board, or um, it could be a writing assignment or something like that, or a blog. So you'll always be able to kind of tell, but you'll see these in kind of big chunks throughout the week. So you'll first have, say, um, Robert Frost or uh, Hemingway or whoever it might be. Um, that's kind of the, the general flow, and it stays consistent throughout the week. So um, that is pretty much it as far as how to use Canvas. It's very simple. Um, I, in general, will have some resources for you pinned to the top. So things like the syllabus and course calendar will always be there. Um, this video will always be available so you can always know where that is. Um, here, you'll also see on the home page when you come into the course, if I can get it to load, um, you will always have uh, just some overview, some information here like how to email me. Um, or, or how to get started or whatever it might be. But you also have quick links in the course, which is great. So you can just come in here on your homepage, which is where you should land. And if you want to go straight to the modules, you just click the course modules button. Um, if you want to go, and I can show you this here. And if you want to go say to the syllabus course calendar, you could do that or this Canvas video, you can always find that here. So that makes life easy. You could navigate here on the left, uh, like I said, from this, a student view it looks a little bit different um, but you can always navigate on the left or as I showed you you can kind of navigate within the modules themselves you will always see your grades available to you in the grade book um, and then you have other things available to you again from the student view uh, if I can get this to load you'll always see the announcements in here as well and every Monday morning I email out um, the this the weekly reminder of what that week's uh, assignments consist of. Um, so you, you will always have that in your Canvas email. So make sure that you have those notifications um, set up as well. And everything else is pretty simple. So if you have any questions, you can always email me through Canvas. You can also email me at my uh, my.tccd. E email, uh, and it's it's pretty easy to kind of navigate the course. And Canvas is super user friendly. Um, and has a lot of really interesting and cool functionality that you guys can use. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, but that is a quick overview of how to use Canvas for this course. Thanks.